Good morning guys. Today we are off to a little town in the mountains called Minka. For a long time, this small town was cut off to tourists because of the military forces. But it recently opened its doors, serving as gateways to Colombia's most beautiful mountains and national parks. All right, welcome to Minca. We are in the town, which is right here. And we are going to Casa Alimento, which is here. All right, we just hopped out of the taxi motos. We're about to walk to the waterfall. Yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> it was a really short taxi ride. And honestly though, I would, if I knew the road was like this, I probably would have chosen to walk. Yeah, I think we're going to hike from now, um, from the waterfall to the hotel and from the hotel back down to tomorrow. So there's a lot of mosquitoes, so many mosquitoes. If you come here, load up on those mosquito spray because it's gonna, be worth it. And All right, we're off. Off to the waterfall we go. What are you videoing? Those ants are awesome. They're carrying leaves that are like 10 times bigger than them. I couldn't make you grab the Right trail. Looks like they're building something right in front of the waterfall. It turns out they're building a little rest area for the tourists that come to enjoy the waterfall. So they'll have like a restaurant and a, like a snack bar or something like that. After a quick waterfall shower, we continued our walk. Alright you guys, see this view? Check this out. That's where we woke up this morning. And that's Santa Marta. You can almost see the marina. I saw the sign that said we're going the right way. Doesn't mean we're almost there, but I like to believe that we're almost there. What do you think so far? Keep walking, we're in the shape. We're out of shape, man. That's what I think. <laughs> We've been hanging out on the boat too much. Yeah. And not hiking nearly enough. We're not even I don't yet. think we're that bad. Yeah, we're not that bad. All right. See you guys when we get there. Peace. We're here! We made it. We finally made it to, to Casa the, Elemento and it's so worth it. The biggest. It's hint. beautiful. And we are laying on the biggest hammock ever. ever. 
Casa Elemento is to this day the coolest hostel we've ever been in. This place originally got its fame from the giant hammocks, but it became a very popular spot for young travelers and backpackers who come to relax for a few days. While we were there, we met many other travelers from all over the globe, and that view from the top of the mountain is incredible. We're about to go check out where we're going to sleep tonight. There are a few different options when it comes to sleeping arrangements. From dorms to private little cabanas to hammocks. We decided to go with the hammocks, being the cheapest and, in my opinion, the coolest option. <laughs> when the sun goes down and the temperature starts to drop, the fireplace is where it's at. It was nice to hang out, listening and sharing great stories while having the warmth of the fire on our feet. We are still in Casa Elemento, but yes. now we are in the jungle. They have another hammock down at oh, there's like a giant ant crawling there's quite over. Quite a few mosquitoes and bugs. It is kind yeah. of the jungle, so if you come up here, bring some mosquito repellent. Yeah. Yes. Last night was amazing on the hammock. Beautiful. It was so relaxing, and we had blankets. Um, but now, check where we are. Isn't that amazing? It feels a little bit weird to be hovering above a river. <laughs> well, how many feet do you think we're Well, we're probably up. 30 feet above a, a running river and some waterfalls. It's really on nice. A hammock, on a giant hammock that has so many holes. <laughs> a couple holes in it. But, you know, Hello. people use it, so. And it has cables to hold it up. Um, so yeah. It's really yeah. nice back here though. It's very- It really is, it's relaxing. It's, it's cool and the sound of the water is beautiful. Yeah. I can see why people stay here for more than one day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're checking out today. But the adventure doesn't stop here. <laughs> We're going to hike up um, and get a really cool viewpoint of the mountains. And then we're going to continue to the coffee plantation, La Victoria. And we're going to see how they make coffee here. And then we'll hike back down to Minka and then we'll go back to the boat. So it's another three hours of hike. Uh, we still have time, it's 11 o'clock. And let's do this. Let's go. Yeah, I know. Alright, let me grab my bag. And the hike continues. Can you imagine we paid sixty dollars <laughs> for everything that we did? Yeah, well, like, including Columbia, including man. sleeping in a hammock, including drinking all the drinking we did last night. Uh, three uh, meals each. Three meals each. Really good meals too. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah it was, it only was well worth it. So thirty bucks each. Thirty bucks each for everything. Yeah. You can see snow on top of those mountains and they're 5,000 meters tall. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Clever boy got time to waste him while his future just slips away. Baggage jeans and snapbacks dreams away. He'd never forget that 
So we just walked officially two and a half hours now from the Casa Alimento and uh, we just passed the sign that points to the coffee plantation so we should be almost there. I'm so excited to taste the coffee and to figure out how they make fresh Colombian coffee. It was an amazing experience to see the meticulous process of making coffee. The farmers hand-picked the coffee beans up in the mountains, dropping them in several water funnels which transport them down to the plantation. From there, the mechanical process starts, using the original equipment from 1892. The first step separates the beans from their shells, which are collected outside and used for compost to grow new trees. Meanwhile, the beans' journey continues. Because they don't use any chemicals in the coffee making process, water is the most important factor and is used through every stage. If there are any bugs in the beans, they are drowned as the beans are washed and pushed down through the pipes. Once the beans are soaked and clean, they travel into the next phase, separating them into three different grades based on the quality which is established from the buoyancy of the bean. The third grade beans are the ones that have been heavily damaged by bugs, and so there are barely anything left. Wow. So yeah, but that's why it, they are floating. That's why it floats. There's nothing mm -hmm. there's nothing left. You can open. Sometimes have have good color, but inside is empty. Look at that. It's, it's those are some hungry, those are some highly caffeinated <laughs> bugs. They are sold to the local street vendors who add a lot of sugar to compensate for the lack of flavor. The second grade beans are the ones that are later sold to the grocery stores and Colombian coffee shops. And the first grades, the highest quality, are the ones that are exported to other countries. Only 30% of the first grade beans are kept in Colombia and they can only be purchased at the plantation itself. But all the beans go through multiple drying and sorting process before they can be roasted and prepared for shipping. After the tour, we could not resist enjoying a fresh cup of first grade coffee brewed right here at the plantation. And knowing all the effort put into this process makes us appreciate the taste even more. And of course, we grabbed a few bags for ourselves. Oh, that's good. Mm. And? So if you want to start your morning with a delicious cup of this coffee, we're giving away a bag of beans directly from the plantation. Uh, we picked these up when we were up in Minka, and we're going to be raffling them off to one of our lucky patrons at the end of next month. Yeah. So if you're already a patron, you don't have to do anything. Your name will go in the hat as many times as dollars you've pledged, if that makes sense. So one dollar, one ticket. Exactly. $2, two tickets and so on. And if on. you're not a patron, you still have a whole month to sign up and we'll be mailing out a bag of coffee when we do our drawing. Yeah. Really good. And these are beans too, so you can grind them yourself. And we made it even better because we added a Uma sticker in the back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was the end of this episode and I hope mm. you enjoyed it. And we sure are enjoying this coffee. And make sure you come back next week when we have fun making a Christmas movie in Cartagena. If you guys saw our Christmas special. Yeah, this is the making of that special. So, <laughs> until then, cheers. Cheers. Hot. Wow. Wow. Hot. <laughs> <laughs>